Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I redid our little entryway thingamabob. Um, as you can see, it was pretty hideous when we moved in. Uh, we had a, just a light bulb hanging out of the ceiling. Um, so I have since painted the house. Uh, I have a separate video on that and I did replace the light fixture already. But the rest of the patio or porch, whatever you want to call it, still needed a makeover. So that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. So stay tuned. Oh, hi, Bean. <laughs> um, I painted my house a little while ago and we actually replaced that light. Um, but I still need to take care of this post and the floor here. So what I'm gonna do is actually paint this tile. Um, I'm gonna start doing it today. Uh, the paint I'm using is the same paint I used on the windowsill and door. It's just held up really well and um, with tile it's kind of tricky so um, and I'm gonna put a stencil on it after that and I'm gonna make like a pattern ceramic tile look and then this post I'm gonna actually wrap in wood so I think it's gonna look awesome but this is how it looks before. So here, as you can see, I'm just clearing off everything from the patio. Uh, you do want to start with a clean slate, so I'm going to sweep and then I'm also going to clean it with some tile cleaner. Um, and I'll use this little cleaning montage to explain that I actually did mess up when I started. A lot of people assume I know exactly what I'm doing all the time and I don't. I just do trial and error. So I used exterior paint on the tile first and let me just tell you it scraped right off with a fingernail. So uh, what you want to buy is a good adhesion primer. I will show you the one that I used in a little bit. Uh, but do not use latex paint or just, you know, regular uh, kills primer because you are going to need a good adhesion for ceramic tile. Tile is extremely hard to paint. So just keep that in mind, learn from my mistakes, and yeah. So here is my clean slate after I was all done and then next I'm going to be rolling on the Kills Adhesion Primer. Now I used one coat of this and then I did two coats of the white exterior masonry paint from Bare on top of it. Um, and then I did the stencil on top of that. So I just wanted to explain uh, there are a lot of options for indoor tile like you can use chalk paint and polyacrylic it doesn't work that well outside from what i was researching it said that polyacrylic wouldn't hold up outside in the heat and the humidity so i ended up having to seal it with something else and i just decided to use a really good primer to start with So this was after the first coat of primer and then I did two coats of that exterior paint and I let it dry overnight. And here we go. I'm having like flashbacks, uh, not good ones. So stenciling is something that you have to be patient about and I am very impatient. So uh, I'm not using enough tape here. Let's go over my mistakes. I'm not using enough tape here. I didn't press the tape down hard enough. My stencil, even though I ordered a 12 by 12 and the tiles are 12 by 12, it's still a little bigger than the tiles. So the paint was blobbing into the grout lines. Not good. Uh, like I said, I didn't tape down the stencil enough. So it ended up sliding and screwing up my very first tile. Go me. Like I said, I'm not a DIY expert. I just fuck up like that. Wow. And I was really pissed when I did that because I knew it was going to be a mess. So yeah, just uh, if you're going to do this, make sure you put a bunch of tape on the outside and uh, have patience. And you can even let it fully dry before pulling it off. I don't have that kind of time or that kind of patience. So I ended up just peeling it off and doing the next tile down. Um, you can do whatever you want, but if you wanted the cleanest look possible, I guess just let it dry before you pull it up and do the next one. I don't have, you know, 
I don't have the patience for that. So I was okay with just clean, cleaning up the uh, extra black paint with some white paint after I was done. And that's kind of what I did. Just another quick tip um, I wanted to mention because you can't really tell here, those three tiles in this uh, clip right here, they're dry. I waited to do the middle one because if you put that stencil on top of wet tile, do you see how much it's overlapping? It's just going to smudge all of your hard work. So I do a couple at a time and then I go inside, grab a white claw, shotgun it. I'm just kidding. but. I'll go inside, get a drink or something, and then I will come back and do that middle tile. But doing like the tiles at the corners seemed like the easiest way to get it done and not smudge your work. All right, so the stenciling is done. It is far from perfect. Um, if you're a perfectionist, I don't know if I would recommend because as you can see, it's very blotchy. So I'm gonna go in actually with a paintbrush. I really screwed up, that was my first one. <laughs> and it slid, so it smeared everything. But I'm gonna go in with a paintbrush with white paint and also one with black paint and kind of try to make some of the areas that look a little messy like that. Um, gonna try to make it look a little neater and crisp up some of the lines in between the tiles. But overall, I think it came out really great um, and then we're gonna put a clear sealer sealant on it and I'm really praying that's gonna work um, but yeah so overall um, anyone can really do this if you're looking for perfection I don't know if I would do this because it's just paint um, so you do have to have a lot of patience and you do have to be okay with it like not looking perfect and then the next thing is we're gonna wrap this post in wood so yeah, I'm excited. So this part of the project was pretty specific to our needs. I don't think a lot of people have one of these posts, but we had this wrought iron post from the 60s. A lot of people will replace them because they get rusted, but the previous owner just ended up putting some metal supports on the bottom and we didn't really like how that looked. So we ended up wrapping it in some pressure treated wood. Um, it did come out a little bit bigger than I had anticipated or wanted, but we are probably going to eventually replace it in like the next year or two. This was just to make it look um, a little bit nicer for the time being. So um, yeah, if you have a post like this, we just took like a pressure treated fence picket and sandwiched the original post in between and screwed some nails through to the 2 by 8 board. So I had put some wood filler in the cracks and let it dry overnight. This is me at 9 in the morning with an orbital sander. I'm sure my neighbors wanted to kill me at this point, but um, I rarely do like outside projects this early. Um, so yeah, I just sanded off the excess wood filler and then I wiped it off with a towel and went in with an exterior stain from Bear. So I'll show you a picture of the one I used here. Okay, so I'm really over the whole stencil thing. It's obviously not perfect. I don't care anymore. I mean, me and John are the only ones who live here. If we sell the house, we will actually put tile down. So yeah, whatever. Um, but I am putting a clear sealant over this. It is a gloss because I couldn't find a low gloss. So hopefully we do not slip and fall on this when it's dry, but I don't think we'll have an issue. I saw other people said this worked. So we shall see. I'm gonna roll this on from the back to the front. Pray for me.
So I did two coats of that sealer. It wasn't super glossy, so I was happy with that. I'm sure if you did more coats, it would look more glossy, but I actually really love how it came out. It had a slight sheen to it and definitely looks protected, but this is the final result, you guys. I'm so happy with how it came out. Like I love how we have a little nice entryway now, so when people come in, they feel welcome and not like they're about to get murdered. So love that for us and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please ignore my garage door i'm in the process of painting that white so i hope you guys enjoyed this it was a really fun project it only took us one weekend so if you have something similar i wish you the best of luck and send me some pictures follow me on instagram i love when you guys send me your house updates on there so um have a great week and thank you guys so much for watching Bye bye